¿Comenzaste con Spanish rap o...? Yeah, I started with English rap, bro. Like, okay. that was my shit, like... In, ¿De chavalo? How old were you when that happened? Uh, I was maybe, like, in 10th grade, bro, so, like, 16. Uh-huh. Uh, we would just kind of rap in, like, cafeteria and shit. Mm -hmm. y luego, yeah, I, like, I started, like, a little group with the homies. Yeah, we would all pitch in for studio time. We started throwing shows because nobody was booking us, bro. Like, entre diez, pichamos to book a venue, bro. Yeah, make things y happen. Vendiamos fucking $5 tickets, and then we'll just break off whatever entre diez. Mm -hmm. Y luego, we wanted to do bigger venues, better venues, and got more expensive. Some people started pulling out to the point where it was like, I was funding my own shit. Yo me quedaba con todo y le pagaba los, like, le decía los vatos, hey, y'all want to perform? I'm like, he's done 20 tickets. I'm like, vendelos a diez, y a mí nos dame cinco, and you keep five for yourself, so, mm -hmm. you know, también put some money in the pockets yeah. and shit. Simón. So, así empezamos, bro, we have, like, festival lineups and shit, I get sponsors, y, y todo el pedo, and then, uh, I ended up graduating high school, y I wasn't doing, I, was, I wanted to go to culinary school, bro. Y lo no se me hizo. It was fucking expensive. I Otra was... palabrota, vato. Culinary, vato. I know. Palabrota esa. That's a... Es un pinche mar. That's a... Eso trajo todo el diccionario y le chingaba todo el... So it's a great... The... The... It's a great sexual act, too. Yeah, culinary. Yeah, yeah. Culinary and <laughs> cooking, <laughs> too. Yeah. 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 Cooking. And the chef, as well. <laughs> y um, no se me hizo, bro. Y so I was selling t-shirts out of the fucking trunk of my sister's car, bro. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, fuck it. I'm gonna just rack up some bread like this until I have enough money to go to school. Mm -hmm. Luego, so you were about 15 years old when that happened? Nah, bro, I was fresh out of high school, bro. Oh, okay. I was like, but when you started rapping, you said 10th grade. So yeah, I was, about I was like 15. 16. So like, yeah. but I did that for like two years, just like throwing shows and shit in mm -hmm. high school, you know, at barber shops and shit. Mm -hmm. Y luego, like when I finished, that's when we started taking shit serious because I wasn't going to school, I was doing nothing, I was just chilling in my mom's crib. Chamon. And I'm like, well, fuck it, because it's I, I had like my name was somewhat like you know popping in Houston. I had done some shows in Austin for South by, like, you know, unofficial events. So I was like, man, fuck it. That's the only thing I got going for me right now. Let me let mm -hmm. me run it up. And how did you come up with the Bo Bundy name? So Bo comes from a bull, bro. Bodacious. Okay. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's a la cara al pinche tough hitterman. Uh-huh. He was Big Bad Bo. Orale. Y luego Bundy comes from three things, bro. Like, I'm very interested in, like, serial killers and shit, bro. So sí. you got Ted, Ted Bundy. Bundy. And you got uh, King Kong Bundy. I mm -hmm. love wrestling, bro. That's yeah. my shit. And then you got Al Bundy, which is married with children. Uh -huh. uh, I used to watch that show with my dad. Yeah. So just Bundy. It, it, was, got, it has a click to it, bro. So it was a ring to it. It was between Bo Bundy and Bo Brady because of Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to say like, I'm the GOAT type shit. Sí. But Bo Bundy just sounded like oh, so it, it just it. rolled off the tongue, bro. Yeah. That's the Bundy trifecta. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 It's the same thing, bro. We chose the name. I went to go get that bitch tatted, bro. Yeah, I see My that, bro. My fucking mom was mad, bro. She was like, that's pendejo. And I'm like, <laughs> she's like, what if you don't make it? I'm like, well, now I have to fucking make it because then I'm going to look real dumb. No, it's a part of your life, but bro. That's what I told her. I'm it like, was just it, a part it, yeah, of your life. Like, when 20 years from now, you say, man, back when I was doing this, this is what it was. Our tattoos are supposed to be a yeah. story of our lives, bro. Right? I got a Gucci Mane tattooed on me. I go ahead, a Gucci oh, Mane. Yeah, I, I, I got a Gucci on my leg. I got a Gucci Mane. No está en la nalga. No está en la nalga. Tengo chingo de espacio, güey. I get Gucci Mane actually tattooed on me. No lo tienes como tramp stamp right. acá atrás. Dude, I really <laughs> want a tramp stamp, bro. Oh. I want a Def Leppard fucking placazo. Oh. So you can pour some sugar on it? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Def Leppard or like a TJ Maxx logo, bro. If you do that, <laughs> TJ Maxx. <laughs> bro, if you do the Def Leppard, the, the, when you perform, the crowd's going to go into hysteria. I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're they're taking photographs. Yeah, they're gonna take a photograph. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.